Hello, and welcome back to the Make So Shop here in sunny Singapore. It has been about almost a month, I think three weeks since I last posted. Got a little busy, very sorry about that. But I got a request uh, from a uh, subscriber about the masking that we do on um, a couple of our um, LED blanks. And so I wanted to do a, um, a masking or kind of, um, you, some people call it stenciling. You, stenciling, masking might be the same thing. I don't know, correct me in the comments below if I'm getting them uh, mixed up or what is the difference between stenciling and masking. But needless to say, Jerry Sayer asked for a video about the, uh, the masking process. And so that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna do that with one of our acrylic blanks that we use for coaster making. And we sell just the blanks. So you can make it two as well. And we're gonna make this beautiful mirror printed blank that uses the masking process. And we're gonna show you exactly how to do that right after this. Keep watching. Okay, welcome to the side shop. And so what I wanted you to do is bring you through the um, the stuff we're gonna to use to make this coaster and do this masking kind of uh, demonstration for you today. But the first thing is our blank. And this, it, you can see it's, uh, it's cut in reverse. So that is the actual side that you will be looking at right there. And this is, and I'm gonna peel it off, this is our quarter inch coaster blank. So it's a very thick, and that's how you easily take off the protective paper. And it's a beautiful quarter inch. And if I can zoom in here and you can see how beautiful we make the cuts on the edges. So every project that you would do with this would be a work of art. So basically what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use a mask and then um, we're gonna use that mask and we're gonna paint with uh, metallic not metallic, I'm sorry. This is a mirror effect. So mirror effect will only work on a clear um, type of uh, substrate. Being acrylic being one, glass would be another because the actual mirror effect, it sprays matte on the one side, but then it has the mirror effect when you view it through the other side. So if you use a uh, regular, just white piece of acrylic or something, it would not work with the mirror effect. It's only gonna work with something that's clear. And so we're gonna actually mask down, spray our mirror effect, and since we're viewing this through the bottom, once we do the one spray with the mask on, the second detail mask is gonna be the spray itself because the first layer that goes on something that you view through on glass or acrylic will work as the mask because it's the only thing you can see. And, and so it really helps um, if you, it's forgiving for making mistakes because you can create a hard edge with a mask. And then once that hard edge is down, anything you put over top of it isn't gonna matter because you'll only see that hard edge because you're viewing it this way through it. So quickly, um, we are gonna use the Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect Spray to do our, our base layer. Um, this, the mask we're gonna use is, this is Aura Mask from Oracle who makes the same as vinyl. So this is their uh, special vinyl just for masking. Uh, we're gonna use our transfer tape here to transfer from here to onto our tape here to get it onto our um, acrylic here, a squeegee, a pick tool, a paintbrush for when we do our details with our two paints that we're just using Martha Stewart. And we're gonna use some uh, painter's tape because when we spray the acrylic, we're gonna, we're gonna cover the edges so our edges stay glow and, and beautiful the way they are now because that's the real effect and the beautifulness on this very thick acrylic. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll need to do when we're creating the mask uh, I don't know if you could see the design here, but um, the design is gonna go onto it and, go, and we're gonna paint with everything around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the excess 
from the mask and that's easily done. I'm using my uh, weeding pad here just as it's a very nice flat piece of surface. It's not on, it's not adding any heat or anything like that. So, and very easy. Our mask is, is out. All we need to do is weed the cavities in the middle. And I probably need to get my glasses, so I'm gonna do a quick hold and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with glasses so I can actually see me weeding. And we'll get in here and get these little details out. Nice. The detail weeding part is really what makes the design. People do very simple designs because they want to keep the project achievable and simple, which I do understand and I think that's a great idea, especially when you're starting out. But as you go, you want to increase the complexity of your designs because it's that detail weeding and that complexity that the human eye somehow knows that wow that took a lot to actually do so we've got our ohio headed upside down our ohio weeded out if you didn't know i'm originally from ohio so that's why i am doing the ohio coaster and that's why we're starting with our ohio based coasters um it's my hometown my home state so we'll go with it from there um from here we just want to check it to make sure it's good and it looks good to me we're going to lift this up and put it on the reverse side like that. So now we're gonna take our transfer paper and there's some cool transfer technique, the hinge technique, uh, which we don't need to do the hinge technique now. So I can just lay this straight on there because I'm really just using this to lift it up and pull it down. I take my squeegee and really the pulling method is the best method but you know, pull push and you know do what it takes to get it get it on there once you have it on there and you should be able to just peel it right off and it transfers right to your sheet so from here we're going to take and apply it to our Ohio now this is the part where you want to be a little bit careful, not too careful, it's, it's a bit forgiving and I overcut the edges here. I'll show that, I'm gonna push this down on there. Now definitely when I put it on the strut substrate, I'm gonna use a pulling technique. I don't wanna push on it. I'm gonna pull it across there. Okay, so. Pull that off of there. So if you can see, there's extra mask around the edges because I, I want to use that. So that keeps me from having to be, having to be <laughs> very exact. And it's also going to work to help me mask my, my edges off from there. So we're going to pull this off. And this is the mask coming right off. The, now when something won't come up, never to fail you just give it a little bit of extra push on it and it should start coming right up and you do it slow and nice and then you can save you look back and see the little piece of blue came off of there and i think it was something that i didn't weed out of the cavity which that makes it okay and then i'll just pull push my extras over the top as I want. And if you flip it around, that's where you can see it through where it says Ohio. So that will be our mask. And so to answer Jerry Slayer, this is what a mask is doing. Um, what we're also gonna do real quick now, because um, after we've got the mask on there, I'm gonna line my edges you see that blue is kind of shining through the edges. It looks pretty. It almost looks pretty the way it is. But uh, I'm going to line my edges to protect those edges so that they shine through the colors that I that I want them to shine through. 
and then we're going to take you over to the booth because then we're just going to spray it with the mask on to create the base image. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up real quick. Okay, so I've got the uh, painter's booth all set up. We're all taped up. Um, the tape that I did on the side kind of meticulously is only to preserve the edges. So it has nothing to do with the masking on here. The, what I showed you in the beginning is the full masking for the front. So that is all exposed with the exception of the masking that we have there. And so the, the blue painter's tape you see on here kind of raggedly around the edges is just to protect my side edges from getting the paint on it. Um, that can clean off with alcohol. You rub alcohol on it to clean it off, but the less you have to clean off, the better. So I've got my uh, painter's booth here. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cheap. It's nice for me and my shop because it's indoor, has an exhaust in the back, which I will turn on the exhaust here. And that takes and sucks the fumes out to the back there. I'll cut it off so you can hear me when I talk. And I got my painter's point, which is just gonna prop up my blank. So it makes sure that I, when I'm painting it, that I paint onto it. And that's also gonna help protect my edges as well. Um, when you're spray painting, um, most people probably spray paint outdoors, which is a good thing to do because the more ventilation, the better. But you wanna, two things, you wanna shake well to make sure everything is nice and shaked up in the bottle. But also, you want to do a, a, a back and forth motion, and you want to be a good six inches back away from it. So you're dusting the paint on there. Wet spray paint on your substrate is not a good thing. So you want to just do light bursts back and forth across it. I do very light at the very beginning, which makes it serve almost as a primer that I'm putting on. And then I come back with success of, um, I'll, I'll probably do three coats with this on the mirror so that um, it, it gets really opaque. Because if you only do one to two coats, the mirror effect is gonna be there, but it won't be a very opaque effect. So um, I'll speed you through, through this and then I'll show you the results after it's done. Okay, we're back to our side view. We're out of the uh, paint booth. The paint is on and the mask is still on and we're going to unveil or strip off the mask here together. So we'll start with taking our sides off, which was protecting our edges so that we have nice clean edges. And it'll start revealing the mirror finish that we have on the, the other side here it's going to leave some sticky residue you can see but we'll just we'll clean that off no problem and we can see our edges are there's a little piece of tape there there we go and our edges are well preserved but we're going to still even clean our edges even more after that so now some of our mass started to come off already, which is okay, because we're going to go ahead and take it all off. Okay, we got all our mask off. Uh, it would have been quick and easier if I would have welded the um, font and it would all came off at once, but it's a four letter word, so it's not really that bad. It still has got gummy stuff all over it from the masking. So the next thing I like to do is just take that off with just a little bit of alcohol. And so we're gonna take off the gumminess off with a little bit of alcohol. And then we have our base layer set down. And so that's the masking done. So now anything we paint 
onto the back of here is only going to be viewed so like where you can't see my finger as I can actually make a perfect strike with my finger even though you know there's more of my finger behind it that's exactly how this works so when we paint on this side we don't have to be exactly perfect when we're painting we just need to paint in within the lines and don't go over on other lines um, specifically on any clear parts if it's already covered with paint you're perfectly fine but um, if it's not covered with paint you just want to make sure you stay within just your painted part from there and so the rest is hand painted from here uh, we'll start with the red stripe in the middle and we won't make you sit through hand painting I know you guys uh, know how to do hand painting and then we'll take you through the finished result from there okay and so now you can see the finished product the silver or the mirror finish um, that was masked with the Ohio and the stripes and then just painted on with acrylic paint afterwards to reveal this beautiful image and make this great mirror coaster edges preserved so that they glow and they look great and beautiful and preserves a great coffee cup and so I really hope you enjoyed this uh, quick demo of how to use masking um, I hope you take a look at our acrylic blanks that we have and uh, we have a variety of them and we can make any type that you want so if you got ideals of hey you should make a blank in this shape or you should make a blank in that shape please let us know and we can certainly do that and then we're going to take some more close-ups for you there please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to check out our uh, marketplace and our Facebook page and also our Instagram thanks for watching